Today we're gonna take a look at how to get a sliding overhead shot. So let's roll that B-roll. Hey, what's up guys, this is Marcos, and today I'm gonna show you how I just achieved what you just saw, which was a pretty cool overhead sliding shot. This is something that I've seen primarily in documentaries uh, work. Like um, there's, I know there's a show on Netflix about food and they usually have this, uh, this overhead shot of the food and it looks beautifully lit and it's sliding and it's really awesome. You also see it with promotional videos when you're trying to showcase a product and there's usually an actor interacting with the product. It, it adds a lot of interest to the shot. So it's a little, I wouldn't say difficult to create. The, the difficult part is rigging a slider coming from up above. That's the difficult part because you need to have a supporting gear and that takes time. So anyways, I'm gonna show you how to do it on the cheap and do it super simple, how I did it. So let's not hold up <laughs> the tutorial. Let me show you my overhead rig. All right, so here's my overhead rig. This is what it looks like. Pretty simple design. It doesn't actually take up much space because Everything is up here. That's what's nice about this design. So let me show you quickly what it looks like. Let me step behind the camera. I'm gonna slide a little bit down. You can see the product is down there below. I have some lighting, but what I'm gonna focus on is the overhead rig up top. All right, let's get back to it. All right, I'm back. So let me walk you through it. Uh, this is slider by newer. It's pretty simple to use pretty smooth and it's pretty cheap. So I have a link in the description to all this stuff. All right, so this is the, the camera, the Sony a6300. Let me loosen this. Um, pretty lightweight. I like that it's, it has great quality. It's not gonna add a lot of bulk to your whole setup. Not that this is not strong enough. This is pretty robust. You probably can't do push-ups, but for this setup, it's, it's, it's probably overkill, which is good enough for me because I want this to be really sturdy. So, if I take this off, first of all, I want to show you what I mounted to. This is very easy to take off. It has the Arca Swiss uh, type of adapter. And the ball head that I use is this. It's by Cinephoto. And what's nice is that it also has this a knob for panning and tilting, right? So you can pan and tilt really easily. Uh, it has a 360 ball head. You can... You can basically put it anywhere you want, go all around. That's pretty nice. So let me unhook this because this was sent to me by Cinephoto. It's the Cinephoto Q2. I'll have a link in the description. And this is a pretty cool ball head. It, you know, it's very flexible. It's pretty robust. You can feel it in, it, in its weight. Um, but also what's nice is that you can do this. This is what you want. If you're gonna do a sliding overhead rig like this one, you need something that can uh, tilt the, the 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 ball head up at this 90 degree angle to have like an, an L shape. Otherwise, you you really can't get that shot. Uh, so this is pretty inexpensive. I really like it, and uh, thank you for the uh, the guys at Cinephoto for sending me this. It's really been working out great, and I use it a lot. So this is great. Now this lighter is by Newer, and the only thing I did is I bolted it on using the quarter inch uh, quarter inch screws, as you can see here. I'm gonna take it off so you can see what that looks like. It's pretty simple to take off. I put some rubber washers in between just to tighten it more, uh, but that's all it is. It's just a slider made by Newer. I have a link in the description to this slider. It works pretty good for the price. It's only like $50, so pretty awesome. Let me show you the rest of the setup. This is just a galvanized square bar that I, that I have around the house, but you can find this at, at your local hardware store. And I just drilled some holes and I use these, uh, this quarter inch thread bolts to tie it to the ends of the bottom of the slider. So the quarter inch goes in through here and just tighten it. Um, and I also used uh, the washer, these rubber washers in between just to tighten it more. So that's it. Uh, this bar you can find, I don't know, it's probably pretty inexpensive. And then I also made holes in between so I can bolt it on different locations. I could have it up here. Uh, I can also bolt it 
here on the side, but I found that this is the best way to mount it. You can, I can mount it up here on the side. Yeah, different ways to mount it. And then we have the L brackets. These are pretty inexpensive. They're like six bucks at Home Depot or you can find them in any hardware store. They already had holes. The only thing I had to make holes was, was in this bar. And you can do that just with the drill. Make sure you go in directly. When you go in that the holes are pretty straight. Otherwise it might not, it might not match up, especially on when you're trying to bolt them on to the to the uh, to the quarter inch holes in, in the slider. Make sure they're pretty straight. So that's it. Pretty easy design, inexpensive, and pretty strong. So that's my sliding overhead rig. Hopefully you guys found this useful. If you have any questions, please drop them down below. I'll try to help you with whatever I can but hopefully it's easy enough for you to recreate. I like it because it's very simple to make. It doesn't take up space. I have a limited studio space here and it's not on the way. And I can also use it just as the simple overhead rig, which is awesome. Also I have links in the description to the slider and the tripod ball head, which is they're pretty cool, pretty inexpensive. They're about 50 bucks each, all right? Also, uh, give it a thumbs up if you found this useful. And as always, I'll catch you on the next one.